Yay, I have a new bed in my van and I did it for under a hundred dollars. Yay! Good morning, everybody. All right, Ma Terry here and the fabulous Miss Lucy. She is out camping with me. Last night we spent our first night in the van with our new bed set up and I can't tell you how much better it is having the bed set up there. I was so worried and afraid I wouldn't be able to jump in the back but having the bed there makes it really really nice. Miss Lucy had lots of space. Now today's videotape is just going to be the beginning of building out the uh, bed in the back. Um, don't worry I got a lot more construction to do so uh, join uh, with me as we build my bed. Let's see how much did my bed cost? A piece of wood for $30 and I have enough to make two beds out of it. Uh, eight crates at seven dollars okay we don't know what seven times eight is oh my gosh so under a hundred dollars we got a great bed we got lots of uh oh my gosh we got so much more storage we are so happy we can't wait to take our show on the road can we miss lucy she's anxious she wants to go for a walk anyhow go ahead and watch the video i hope you enjoy any questions please put it in the comments below just remember this is part one of my bed all right bye guys Good morning, everybody. Ma Terry here inside Fort Sparkles, the magnificent Fort Sparkles, and we're doing something exciting. Now, I've shown you a quite quite a couple videos of Kate's wonderful bed. I love her bed in her van and basically what it is is it's a bunch of crates and wood slats on top so she has access to everything uh, below her bed and then she just sleeps on top of the wood crates. She has several yoga mattresses. Anyhow I'm going to show you what it's going to look like when I'm done. Sort of uh, this way you get an idea. Hold on I'm going to put it together. Right now we're all apart. A few moments later. Also while I'm at it I'm going to solve a battery challenge I have, so we'll see if I can get that working. The other thing is, is I'm just doing uh, some temporary stuff to put in the bed and everything to see how I like it. If I like it, what I'm going to do is I'm going to raise up cabinets. I already said I'm getting rid, oh, you can't see my refrigerator. You know what? Most of the times I don't use the refrigerator, so we're going to try life without a refrigerator. Let me show you the interior. So why am I doing this? Why am I doing this changes? As you can see, I have four crates back there and I'm going to put these crates. Why? Because I love crafting and everything. And you know what? I learned when I was at Quartzsite, I can actually make some money while I'm on the road and I enjoy crafting. So uh, I'll show you my van real quick and I'll show you what we're doing. Later. All right. So this is the basic concept. I have a total of eight crates, four by two. On top of the crates, I have two pieces of wood and a good gym mat. All right, so this is phase one. There we go. And what I have is my crates, which I can put stuff in, my wood slat. Well, it's only a quarter inch, but I've tried it out several times. It doesn't break, but I weigh a whole 115 pounds right now, so that's fine. And then I'll put on a couple of rubber mats. Now, the beauty about this system of this, I'll show you. I'll get rid of that rubber mat first. And there's the rest of my van. And those are four stackable crates that fit in here really well. One hour later. All right, so what I want to show you, let me back up. See, I still have headspace up here. And if I want to put my knees up on the bed, I can do that. And let me switch this around. I think switch this around. Yep, switch it around. There we go. Different camera angle. There. I can put my feet there and sit up straight if I want to. I can curl back and relax. But I have one problem, and this will be phase two of the plan. Let me jump over here. Usually, to get into my bottom cabinets, I can just take this out. Well, it's stuck. But not a problem, phase two of my van. See all that extra space I have up there? I can raise these cabinets up a couple of inches and that should solve the problem. So I'll have access to everything. So the beauty of this system is I can sit on that, take out my yoga bat, Look at that, I have access to everything. And that's why I like it. Uh, Kate's right, uh, the wood is quite lightweight. And uh, I'm not finished the wood panels yet. I'm gonna tell you how I did the wood panels. So I have access this way, access that way. 
very nice i can access it totally from when i'm in the van so i don't have to get out of the van and access this at all two hours later so where did i get the crates at and there's a picture of the label let's go in this is a combination of oh come on it won't work sorry guys it's a combination of i got these over at target and some at walmart so yeah they're about seven dollars a piece kate gets the bigger ones they make them up to 19 inches long she only has six of them in there i have one two three four and i could possibly get five in there maybe that is times two eight crates so first off i went to home depot got a 48 inch plank of wood i had them cut it down 14 inches wide that's the size of the uh, crates and originally I had it cut down to uh, 72 inches I believe that's six foot but uh, I don't have that much space in my van so we went with 66 inches not as long as me but uh, I can I'm, I'm fine with what it is I can think of something I can think on my feet so step one Home Depot this is sandy plywood I got a quarter inch a lot of people will probably need half inch or uh the size in between but this seemed to work fine with me next i sanded it and i painted it so let me show you what i used as paint you can use anything you want i just didn't want to get uh, splinters all over me three hours later so next thing i did was i painted it what did i paint it with i painted it with this is basics gesso um, it sealed the wood really good. I did two coats yesterday. What brushes did I use? The foam brushes were no good. They fell apart in like five minutes. These are plastic little brushes. You know, I have a ton of brushes. These worked really good. I'd squirt some out and then I just push it right down into the wood grain, push it, push it. I worked my way. Probably took me two to three hours and even uh, Louis helped me paint. That's why there's two paint brushes. Uh, these worked really good, not the foam rollers. The next day. All right, so what is this stuff on my floor? This is great for keeping cool and warm. Uh, underneath it, there's uh, wool insulation, but this is corrugated plastic and I get this over at Home Depot. If you want to uh, take a shot of this, go for it and then go to Home Depot. But it's just like corrugated cardboard, but it's plastic. Now, will it hold up the weight of uh, the crates and everything? I don't think so. But you know what? This whole thing is an experiment, right? 2,000 years later. Next thing I'm going to do is seal the edges there. I will go in with some paint, but also I wanted to do this, make sure I don't get splinters. This is Gorilla uh, White. I get this over at Home Depot. It's a big thing and it was about $10. So that should be do both of them. All right, so the next step is dangerous. What I did was I cut my carpet and if you cut your carpet, it's still going to shred and shred and shred. So. First thing what I'm going to do is try to seal the carpet with my blowtorch. Extremely dangerous. Now then, if something catches on fire, I have my water. I have my fire extinguisher. I'll get it set up, but do not try this. This is dumb. If this doesn't work, if I'm unsatisfied, if I think it's too dangerous, I'll just glue it with E6000. That works perfectly. Let's do it all right standing by all right so let's see i'm not going to show you what i'm doing but see that's a good flame right there so i'll see and if i don't like it we'll try the glue all right so i'm done i did quick little burst of fire like a half a second a piece and what i'm looking for and yes this was extremely dangerous and stupid don't do this but what i'm looking for is is it hard and if it's hard and no fire right okay i missed a spot right there i'll come back a little with that that's nice and hard yeah so it worked yay and uh yeah maybe i shouldn't have done it but it worked so where does my fire extinguisher sit well back here i have uh two cup holders so i have water in case uh i need something real quick and then i put my fire extinguisher in the second cup holder and this is midway through the van so it's easily accessible no matter where i'm at inside the van
and we are done. Take it away, singing marmot. Go for it.